President. Thank you. Um, thank you, Your Excellency and the Deputy President, uh, brothers and sisters. Um, today, a good story has been told. But the significant thing is that it is a story that is factual. It's not fiction. I think that is extremely important, that the whole journey to providing housing, decent housing, affordable housing, to the Kenyan people is now not fiction, but it's a fact that is being undertaken. The second thing I would just like to point out, Your Excellency, is that cherry picking of constitutional provisions is one of our most unfortunate habits as Kenyan people because Providing shelter to all Kenyans is a constitutional provision. Providing water to all Kenyans is a constitutional provision. Providing education is a constitutional provision. And so is the need to provide free and open conversation and dialogue. But the problem is that we have been spending so much time cherry picking and cherry picking the convenient ones, but it takes courage to address the other constitutional provisions which are not about just speaking, but being very practical. Your Excellency, we must commend you, we must commend the legislators, we must commend the planners that on this one, they have held the bull by the horns they have tackled the difficult aspects that are provided for in the Constitution. You did not cherry pick the easy ones. You have taken the difficult ones. Let me commend you and let us work as a united team, as Kenyans, making sure that we do not engage in cherry picking the softer options, but tackle the tough and meaningful options in our Constitution. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, please come forward.